Welcome back guys to a new Boom Beach video. Today I'm going to be showing you the time my clan mates, my task force mates, hit duplexity. Now I have to preface this by saying look at our task force, okay? We hit duplexity. It's a 50 man task force but half of the levels are around the 40-ish mark and half of them are like level 60s. So what I'm trying to say is guys we didn't do very well. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to attempt to show everyone's attacks. There's 43 of them, and if people are just trying to burn a core, I'll probably skip it. Um, but this green core is an insane base, okay? So first of all, um, Fishtown Killer coming in with the Universal Remote to take down the Rocket Launcher. Now what makes this base insane? Well, it's all this barbed wire, and barbed wire really sucks to go around. Um, you need to drop med kits if you're using a smoky Zooka hit as your Zookas walk through barbed wire. Barbed wire wounds your Zookas and also slows them down. So barbed wire is not something to mess around with. There's probably a lot of you that know a lot more about how to conquer barbed wire, but what a hit by Fishtown Killer. He hacked four buildings, four rocket launchers, an insane open. I love that. That's so good. And then Finishing it up with Zookas on the bottom. This honestly is such a good attack. You know, taking down the mortars from this area, taking down the rocket launcher on the beach, taking down some rocket launchers up there, it just makes it so much easier for someone to come in and take all of those power cells and hopefully someone that actually does something with their hit and not just trying to clear power cells. Okay, so Fish is uh, clearing some power cells. There we go. Has enough energy, flares down. Honestly, four hacks cost so much energy. So, I'm glad he retreated though. Not He didn't retreat, but I'm glad he fell back and let his troops die. Because taking those power cells would be insanely greedy. And it wouldn't really be helping the team much. Now, Trinity, what a base. What a base. I just have to say that. Like... I'm pretty sure most of these attacks will just be universal remote from Everspark taking- oh frick. What hit him? Oh my gosh, there's a super mortar? I didn't- okay, so I think the Seamo killed his troop. But I did not realize that there's super mortars inside of Duplexity. I think what this player was trying to do was trying to hack these two rocket launchers because if those two rocket launchers drop it's gonna make it a little bit easier to clear the core but you still can't really do that maybe if you have bombardiers or something but there's probably a like 10 million HP on that core I couldn't see it then but probably about 10 million HP so I would not recommend trying to burn that core. So here we go. Here's another player coming up, hacking or shocking the Seamos, but the Seamos got a hit out. I don't know. There's probably some note on this attack. We're just trying to survive here, guys. It might not be the most efficient way to go about it, but there's no way we're going to get to the back and clear those shields. So we just have to burn the core, it looks like. Okay, so here's United Fire. Um, coming in to Outworks. Now, Outworks is also a harder base because of the shield generator placement. There's shield generators in the back here and over here. I think also some Outwork bases have shield generators over here. I don't, like ours obviously doesn't, but I think some more difficult Outworks bases do. But um, Unitify are coming in can't really go much faster. I'm just going to retreat um, or exile the attack. A good open. Um, just taking down the left hand side. Here we go. Here's Jeff coming in. You can see all the damage the last player did. Bringing Bombardiers and Grenadiers. I don't really know why this player is bringing Grenadiers. There's no mines that really need to be cleared. And when there's this much HP on buildings, it's kind of just a waste of truth. There's no mines that need to be cleared the Grenadiers really aren't going to do much. So, I probably wouldn't bring Grenadiers in, in Operation Base unless you know what you're doing. I mean, there are people who know a lot more than me, so I don't want to make that claim generic. But, I think for the most part, a lot of people would agree that 
uh, grenadiers probably aren't the best troop. I'm trying to get through 40 attacks here in a reasonable amount of time, guys. So I might be skipping some of the... Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, guys. Like, this isn't working. <laughs> Three attacks trying to do the same thing with universal remote. I don't think that will work, guys. We already tried that. We probably couldn't have done much more if... Okay, so maybe someone has a new strategy. Oh my gosh. Like, look at the ranges before you hit. I It's so hard because CMOS fire so quick, so you have to be... You have to shock before they get there. So, I'm not trying to hate, but here we... Okay. Surely someone will come into Trinity and be able to hack those buildings. We got around 300 force points for this operation, and last time we did this, I don't remember getting that many. I don't like this. I don't like where this is going right now. That player is just taking all the cells and probably isn't going to do anything with them. Okay, here we go. Trinity. This player is bringing all Zookas, which gives me hope, I think. Oh, okay. So I guess people are starting just to bark down. Oh my gosh, this player has so much energy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I still don't see this working. I could be wrong. Yeah, I feel like you'd have to bring um, Bombardiers if you think... Um, you're gonna try to clear the core this way. I mean, I know there are a uh, bunch of Zookas there that are just sitting there, but Bombardiers, you'd be able to stand back farther. Zookas clump up easier because there's more of them. And you saw there that a lot of them walked into the rocket launcher range. So, I don't know. I probably would bring Bombardiers just because a lot of them wouldn't die. We kind of see the same thing with that player. We're gonna... I, I, I like how we're focusing mostly on Trinity. Just focusing on one base, trying to take it out. Here we go. A person using... Oh my gosh, he did it! We got someone who was able to conquer the Simos and be able... And it was like a level 40. What a player. What a great hit. Finally able to... And dropping energy on this side. That high, high IQ for Boom <laughs> We can't really have high IQ plays. Like, I've seen high IQ plays in, like, Rocket League or um, even, like, Brawl Stars, but we can't really see that in Warships. Um, or even this. I mean, it's just, like, all planned out. When people say high IQ, I think they usually mean, like, in the spur of the moment doing something super high IQ. But when it's planned on and meditated on, especially for operations, it's like, okay. You just planned a lot. Okay, here we go. Again, with the Trinity hits. I'm waiting. I don't know why this person brought tanks. But I like the fact that this person brought bombardiers. Because that's what you have to do. See all those bombardiers standing very far back? We didn't have to take down the rocket launcher. We could have just um, dropped our troops on that side with bombardiers. And I know I'm not trying to hate on my task force. I don't want to give you the wrong opinion. Or the wrong view of what I'm trying to do here. I just, I'm just speaking my mind. Here we go. The same view for this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How many shocks did that player have? I think they dropped like four shocks. And then they're going down from this side. Okay, so this player did bring bombardiers. And they spread out a lot. So maybe... It wasn't that clear, but I still think more damage was saved by those bombardiers than if they would have been lost. I like what this player is doing. This is a great hit, just staying out of range of the Flotsams. I, I really want to see a flare down here so he could just take down this and then try to work his way down. And it doesn't look like they're going to do that, but um, if you take down the Flotsams from there all the way down... I mean, oh, I guess there's rocket launchers right here, so that wouldn't work. Never mind, never mind. Okay, so we took down one core for Trinity. You kind of saw from the top that we weren't able to take down the second core. So that's a little bit sad, but it's okay. There we go. Rocket launchers are taken out, flaring up, taking down more rocket launchers. Very nice hit. 
Now we should be able to drop all of our Zookas in that area if you're very, very skilled. Um, I probably would have just dropped them down here because this is what we're trying to take out. We're not really needing to go from the right hand side anymore. But there we go. Next up. I, I still have a very long ways to go, so I'm going to speed this up a bit. This is Harmony. Harmony is a tough base. One, because of all the barbed wire, and two, because there's two cores and there's shield generators in the back. I think top level players, guys, I think they'll spend a few attacks taking down the shields in every base. I think that's the only way to really break some of these bases. You really have to take down the shields. Now, I'm not saying my task force should have took down the shields because we're not very skilled with all Zookas, but we're gonna um, skip that rest of that attack, just taking down buildings. Yes, back to Trinity. But yeah, I don't think my task force should try taking down <laughs> these shields in the back. I don't know if that's doable. Is this a hard trinity or what? This is a really tough trinity, I feel like. Let me know down below if you're an avid task force player and you know these bases very well. Because if you don't know Operation Task Forces, when you roll for an operation, you'll roll a bunch of bases and then... There'll be some bases that are really difficult and some bases that are really easy for that level. And I think this is one of the tougher trinities I've seen. So let me know down below if you've seen, I mean obviously like people probably have seen tougher, but let me know down below if this seems like a, a hard trinity. I'm just looking at the shield generators in the back and all the CMOs, I honestly don't think top level players would take down those CMOs in this situation. I think they would do something similar to what we're doing where we're just burning the cores. Because there's no way you're going to be able to take down the shields in the back. There's just... There's no way. No way. Okay, so CMOs are the issue here. These guys right here being, being a little butt... I think the only way to really take those is to push up here, take down some of the rocket launchers, and then try to just clear. I don't know what my task force did. We don't have that many attacks left, and I'm assuming we kind of just did the same thing where it's a, a smoky hit trying to shock the CMOS. But I think if we would have pushed up and tried to take down some of the rocket launchers, that would have been a little bit better. So this one would be a, a case of an easy roll that we got. Minotaur for duplexity is pretty. Looks like a very easy base to, to roll for this operation. I don't know. I don't know. These players don't get the chance to attack this operation a lot, and they all want to like see barbed wire in action or see the dual cores in action, I feel like. So I'm glad they have fun because at the end of the day, we do duplexity probably like once a month, and the purpose is just to have fun. It's not to take down or grab as many force points as possible. It's literally just to see the cores in action, for me to make a video about it so I can showcase some of my clanmates attacks, and I think it's a great way to engage the task force. But here we go. Kind of like what I said, um, the CMOs, people are just going to be shocking them. I like what this player did, but I mean, we really just have to take down the CMOs if we want to break that core. There's probably 10 million or so HP on that core. I don't really know if someone's in the task force that was here for this operation. Let me know down below how much HP was on one of those cores for Trinity, because I, I mean, I'm guessing it was about 10 million, but it could be more and it could be less. So there we go. We saw a little bit of barbed wire. I didn't see any shocks being placed. Um, actually, bullet taunted. And I think the taunt... Yeah, so the taunt works on barbed wire? Lurcher, high IQ, let's go. <laughs> I guess taunt works on barbed wire and it distracts the barbed wire from killing off your troops. That's really cool. And again, high IQ guys, high IQ. So, Flare Decor, um, the CMO is just tearing apart your troops. When there's four of them all attacking a different troop, you're losing a new troop every, I think they fire 
every like second if I had to guess so you're losing four troops every second no it's definitely more than that it's probably like half a second they fire it's very very quick here we go here's hammerman hq coming into outworks and i think trying to take down some of the splash in the back here and I think just not enough energy or maybe a failed shock. The hot pot wasn't needed to be shocked. And I have a very good feeling that Hammerman didn't mean to drop that shock. He's a very uh, high level player. Well, he just, he's a high level player. So here we go. Critters. Um, so CMOS hit your critters. But some of the CMOS were out of range of the critters. But there we go. Interesting attack. I like the effort, trying to get Taunt back there to distract some of the buildings. Here we go, here's another Trinity hit. I am running out of time for this video, so I'm trying to hurry this up. Hello, coming in. Continually shocking the CMOs and then just burning the core. Honestly, I have a feeling all of these other Trinity hits are the same. We're still gonna show them. I don't want to not show any attacks because I want everyone to have their fair share But here is a very long tank hit And just because it's that long, I'm probably not gonna watch it all um, Probably clearing a very good amount of the base taking down a bunch of buildings. Very nice. Here's another player coming into Trinity Going with bombardiers Interesting. And Rifleman. Rifleman, of course, to distract the CMOs and Bombardiers to deal damage. Interesting attack. Um, lost off his Bombardier, so he's not going to deal any more damage. Okay, here is always a winner coming into Trinity. We'll see what this player does. Um, bombardiers trying to take down the Flotsams. Okay, flaring over. Nice. Um, I'm not gonna watch this all it looks like just burning the core It seems like there is a little bit of a blind spot between that SEMO and the core. So maybe people will exploit that or something Okay, taking down the rocket launchers with hack and then um, it looks like they're just gonna Do an all zooky hit up here. Ooh, okay, so here's some barbed wire gameplay, you know drop that shock that does slow down, but just got fried by those rocket launchers. I have a feeling Oreo ran out of energy. Here we go. Here's FDR. FDR is a high level. Let's see what this player does. Perfect shock. As soon as the hot pot came up, he jumped that shock on it. Bullet dies. And probably not going to do much more. It looks like he just cleared a little bit more. So here's Snake coming in to Minotaur. I'm a little bit sad we weren't able to beat this base, but it's okay. Um, I'll get over it. Snake coming in with the bombardiers, dropping a shocks on the shock launchers. Very nice hit. I really like this. So far, haven't. I I wish we would have took down a base, but I like the fact that my task force attacked bases that they wanted to attack. These hard bases. And here's a base that we haven't seen in a while. Green Court. Only a few attacks were done on this. There's a ton of points over here. I have a feeling this player is just going to steal all of those points. Trying to get force points to task force. Operation is probably about to end. Um, we only have a few more attacks left. Here is Ethan attacking Minotaur. Probably going to be... Ooh. Knowing Ethan, it probably was to finish off the core, which I like. But there's so many rocket launchers here, you need three shocks on the rocket launchers alone. Super sad, it lost all of his troops because they peeked out of the smoke. Here is Davido coming in to Trinity, trying to take down the CMOs. Let's go, that's what I've been saying all along. Took down one CMO. Okay, we're getting there. We're starting to clear that side. I think that's enough to get bombardiers in the corner. Or even... Oh no, there's the grappler. Okay, so if you get... Like, bombardiers back there or something, I, you can do some damage. You can definitely do some damage. Here's Jack Sparrow coming in. A low level. 
I like the effort, but probably isn't going to be able to do much because of the damage. Kind of lost off his troops, but I mean, I'm glad low levels are trying out all Zuka. Here's Ikit. Yeah, Ikit, one of our longtime task force players. Very nice. Getting in the back there, just grinding through that core. I probably would have flared again in the back more, so... Ooh, never mind. I didn't even see that rocket launcher up there. That makes it worse. If the rocket launcher gets a few hits off, your troops are going to get fried. Okay, so here we go. I think it would have been a really good idea to take down this boom cannon. Because if you take down that boom cannon, I'm pretty sure you can just get bombardiers in the corner. Not the corner, but you can get bombardiers right up in here to take down the core without getting hit from the steamers. I don't think anyone saw that, and it's okay. I forgot to attack this operation, which sucks. Don't forget to attack. We kick people for not attacking. And here's Spine. Here's one we haven't seen. What a what a base, guys. This is duplexity at its finest. Dual cores in the back, a ton of shields placed in a very disappointing way, but what a way to finish off the operation. I hope you enjoyed the duplexity video. Let me know down below um what you thought of it also we're looking for higher level members so if you're a high level member keep an eye out in our mini rejects um discord chat and we can get you in so anyway i'll see you guys next time bye